Welcome ladies and gentlemen to the Maryland Darling Show. Today we're going to be doing an ink review of Robert Oster Hippo Purple. Today's ink sample was generously provided by Manda B. Thank you so much Manda B for your contributions to the channel. I really appreciate them. Share this link really quick, and then we can begin. There, and there, and share it to Tumblr. Okie dokie. Okay, so I haven't done anything in preparation, as per usual. Today is Tuesday, day 238 of 2020. <clears throat> Today's hen is going to be the Twisby Go with a broad nib. Today's question of the day is what or who has been distracting you. And today's quote of the day is, I don't think of all the misery, but of all the beauty that still remains. Okay. I hope everyone is doing well, wherever you are in the world, and that you are happy. Well taken care of and all the things, so I think it might have to be by use another brush. I'm gonna toss that one because it's <clears throat> it's doing funny things. Alright, I'll be right back when we get another brush. Oh, I remember I put them somewhere different. Oopsie, oopsie. this brush. Soak for a little while. Okay. 
no actually. This one over here to marinate for a minute. <coughs> Second bit. This part ought to be different because the brush is much thicker. Of course, it might make the paintings more cooler looking. Who knows? We'll see. And we will set this over here to marinate. need a new desk. Mine has weird holes in it. I don't know what's going on with this desk. It's going crazy. I tried to turn the desk around at one point and the, the desk wouldn't lean up against the wall. It would lean away from the wall. I don't know why. Hi Trisha, how are you? Are you having a nice day? Can you see my face? I can't tell because it's behind the little live button. I hope you can see my face because I can't see it. It's behind the live button. I mentioned that today's ink is um, Robert Oster Hippo Purple. I don't remember if I did or not. Anyway, today's ink is Robert Oster Hippo Purple. <clears throat> the ink sample was provided by Manda B, so thank you so much, Manda B, for providing the sample for this review. Tiny thumbnail on the top left. Okay, good. Let's see. Is that better? Can't tell. I made it a little, little bigger. Ugh. Better not get too close. I don't want to scare everyone away. <laughs> way that makes it better? Yeah, okay. So I want to twist it this way so I can push this over here. There! That's better. Okay. Of course now it's cockeyed. Oh well. That'll just have to do for now. 
Okie dokie. Okay. There, is that better? Okay. Yay. Okay. So, Robert Oster. Hippo purple. This is a brownish ink. I don't think it's purple at all. Oof. I can't even do a second swipe. I might have to change out the nib on this. Too wet. I wish I had a medium. Does anybody have a medium one of these? I really want a medium nib for my Twisby. Thinking thoughts about getting one. Maybe at the beginning of next month <clears throat> I can get another one and in, uh, okay. <coughs> Robert Foster. One Iana, two Iana, three Iana, four Iana, five Iana. Oof. Too wet. Of course, this pen could have something to do with it. Could be very wet ink. Could be a very wet pen. Not really sure. But we will see. Is Rodia Dot Pad Robert Oster Oof One Iana, two Iana, three Iana, four Iana, five Iana. Does have a little bit of stay power, but who knows? We will see. Birmingham Pen Company. Oh boy, I get to turn the page. How exciting is that? I always get so excited when I get to turn the turn the page. This paper is so fragile, I'm terrified that I'm gonna rip it. a medium twisby nib if they want to trade for a fine nib please let me know in the comment section below or unless you want to paypal me some some pennies so I can buy a new twisby go that would be lovely too What was I doing? Oh yes, Robert Oster. One Anna, two Anna, three Anna, four Anna, five Anna. Okay. Oh, 
2 Eana, 3 Eana, 4 Eana, 5 Eana. some water down on this to see if it has any water staying power. So I bought one of those um, wax diffuser thingamajigs, and my room smells like Lavender Valley right now. It's so pretty. That's not what I wanted. This is what I wanted. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. And we will put this over here to marinate for a little while. How you doing, Trisha? Are you doing all right? Oh boy, I get to turn the page on this one too. How you been? How you been? You doing well? You having a nice day? One Anna, two Anna, three Anna, four Anna, five Anna. One Anna, two Anna, three Anna, four Anna, five Anna. Man, I really want a medium nib for this. I love the broad nib, but like this, it's just some, it's a little too big. It's just a little too big. We will see. Lover Austria. One Anna, two Anna, three Anna, four Anna, five Anna. Yeah, I noticed that too. If you take the um, 
the um, resolution, or it says quality, take the quality and turn it down to like 360p. I'll show you. So if you go here to the little cog, and you go quality, and then you set it at 360p, it helps with buffering. Although the quality might not be as good, but and if you're on a phone, it kind of works the same way. It has the ability to do it that way, too. Doing great. Good. Oh, boy. I love Mexican food for takeout. Today is Taco Tuesday. I'm going to Del Taco as soon as I'm done with this review. One Iana, two Iana, three Iana, four Iana, five Iana. That is one great thing about this paper, is it soaks into the paper quick. However, it does feather like a chicken. <laughs> chicken! Okay. Two Iana, three Iana, four Iana, five Iana. One Iana, two Iana, three Iana, four Iana, five Iana. This is <clears throat> Pentagon Memo Book from Walmart.com. It does feather. Heavy amount of um, ghosting. Little bit of bleed through. Would not use the back side of this paper. Bye! Who's leaving? I'm not leaving. <laughs> okay. So, this is the Birmingham Pen Company 52 GSM Tomoy River paper. No feathering. No bleeding, no ghosting. I would totally use the back side of this paper. Okay. This is Fabriano Eco Quad 85 GSM. Mm. 
No, a little bit of feathering. No bleed through. A little bit of bleed through. Some heavy ghosting. I might not use the back side of this paper. Now this is with a broad nib and a wet broad nib, so a grain of salt. <coughs> this is the Rhodia dot pad. No feathering. No bleeding, no ghosting. I would totally use the back, maybe a little bit of ghosting, but that's okay. I would totally use the back side of this paper. CVS Caliber Notebook Paper. No feathering. No bleeding, no ghosting. I would totally use the back side of this paper. Exceed 100 GSM heavyweight paper. No feathering, no bleeding, no ghosting. I would totally use the back side of this paper. The Premier Premium Journal from the 99 cent store. A little lot of feathering. Bleeding and ghosting would not use the back side of this paper. Claire Fontaine French Roll Paper. No feathering. No bleeding, no ghosting. I would totally use the back side of this paper. Lamy Notebook. 90 GSM Square Roll Paper. No feathering. Little bit of bleed through where I put it on heavy, but other than that, no bleeding, no ghosting. I would totally use the back side of this paper. The writing tablet from shopischolar.com. You can find this at the Dollar Tree. No feathering. Little bit of ghosting. Little bit of... Tries to bleed through, but not really. I would totally use the back side of this paper. Express It Quad Roll on Paper. You can find this at the 99 cent store. It feathered like a chicken. Bled right through the page. Would not use the back side of this paper. This is Target.com 5 Star Notebook Paper. Feathered like a chicken. Bled right through the page. Would not use the back side of this paper. HP Premium 32 pound 120 GSM copy paper. It does look like it feathered a little bit. Oh dear, and it bled through the page. Would not, heavy, heavy ghosting, almost bled through the page. Would not use the back side of this paper. Last but not least, Mead notebook paper. It doesn't look like it feathered that much, but it did feather. And bled through the page, would not use the back side of this paper. In summary, I would not use the back side of any paper with this, especially if it went through the 120 GSM HP Premium paper, because that stuff, I can't believe it. That's unbelievable. <laughs> It didn't go through the 100 GSM Exceed, but it went through the 120 GSM copy paper. Like, that doesn't make any sense at all. <laughs> so, I don't know what's going on with that.
everything back in order. Okay. What did you guys think of this ink? Oh, we're not done yet. Oh my goodness. That's crazy looking. Okay. Look at this. That is crazy looking. It definitely has some blue in it. What in the world is going on there? That's crazy. Or maybe it interacted with the paper somehow? That's weird. It has like a, a halo of blue going on. That's very strange. This is the sample that will go to inkswatch.com later today. Had no water resistance at all. So, that's terrible. Let's go on Google and see if how expensive or cheap this is. I want to try and add a... Window capture. Okay. Okay, let's look at um, Oh, I see. Okay. Um Okay, there. Can you see what I'm looking at? I think you can. I think you can see what I'm looking at. Okay. Okay, good. So, here we are. Um, Okay, there's nothing on Rob Boster. Okay, let's just open a couple of these because I can't seem to find <clears throat> what I'm looking for. Mountain of Ink, Hippo Purple. There is the review from Mountain of Ink. No, that's not what I want. Oh, cute little hippo. Super cute. Okay. But there's nowhere where to like buy the stuff. Um Ink review. No, I don't want an ink review. There's like nowhere to purchase this stuff. What the heck? Robin Oster.
Where do I? Well, you can go to the website, obviously. United States. Anderson Hens. Federalist. Gold Spot. Goulet. GW. Jet Pens. Ulamer. Haver Place. Hen Chalet. Hen Realm. Signature. The Pen Thing. Trufe. Vaness. And would not. <clears throat> Let's see if we can find it here. Uh, bugger off, I'm busy. I do not understand stores that don't have a search engine. Like, seriously, get with the 21st century, folks. Get a search engine. Otherwise, nobody's going to look at your store. I feel like I'm doing something wrong. Like I feel like I'm uh, spelling it wrong or something. Let's look at the swatches. See if they have list. Do I care to download? Is your alphabetical order? There's no H.
Oh, there's another set. Jeez. Oh, Oh my god, okay. Maybe I'm spelling it wrong. That mountain of ink had. <coughs> it is called Hippo Purple. Robert Oster Hippo Purple. Search. Nothing. I feel like I'm going insane. I'm looking for a thing and you can't find it because it doesn't exist. Was this like a limited edition or something? Is that what's going on? Someone pulling my leg again? Ugh. I feel like someone is having a good time pulling my leg right now. <laughs> Hi, Adam. Hippopotamus. Hippo. Hippo something. Hippopotamus. Here's a summary from Wikipedia. The oh, hippopotamus shut up, also please shut up. No, it's called Robert Oster Hippo Purple. Hippopo Oh, I see. Hippopo HIPAA-something.com It's not on here either. Oh, Hippo Purple sold out. That's why. Yeah, it must be sold out globally because there's it's nowhere to be found. Nope. Must be sold out worldwide. Sorry, you guys. <clears throat> That's just tough beans, I guess. I don't know what the hell. I mean, I have to be honest. It's not a very pretty color. It doesn't really fit the purple of the hippopotamus at all. I mean... at all. So, I don't know. Anyway, <clears throat> if you guys want to get a sample of this, you're going to have to go on some sort of, let me see, let me look in one other place. Once in a blue moon you will find a rare ink on eBay because, oh, no exact matches. 
This must have been a really popular brown ink. Nope. No results. That's just great. Fantastic. <clears throat> well, sorry you guys. Cannot be helped. Made for their first Kickstarter of a hippo not real. Oh, I see. One time production and an exclusive. Oh! You see, I was not here for that. <laughs> I'm all looking all over the internet like a crazy person. That's what you get, Adam, for being late. Just kidding. That's what I get for you being late. <laughs> And still isn't done drying yet. Okay, well, let's look at some comparison panels, shall we? While we're sitting here twiddling our fingers. Do, 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 do. Here we are, Robin Oster, Hippo Purple. Actually, I'm going to redo this card because it's kind of shenanigan -y. Be cooperative. Kind of an ugly color, not gonna lie. So Yes, inkswatch.com, right. Yeah. We'll deal with that in a minute. So, this is Robert Oster, Hippo Purple. And, uh, how am I going to do this? Be cooperative. This is Robert Austin Hippo Purple. This is Diamine Terracotta. 
This is Kyo Iro Moonlight of Higashiyama. This is J. Arban Nude. This is J. Arban Lee Dete. This is Diamine Saddle Brown, Sadie Brown. Let's think it's Sadie or Saddle, I'm not sure. This is Diamine Raw Sienna. This is Noodler's Polar Brown. This is Noodler's Beaver. Noodler's Red Black. And Diamine Ochre. A little off the spectrum is Diam uh, Monteverde Brown Sugar, Pen BBS 270, and J.R. Bon Coco de Brazil. <clears throat> I don't know if that helped or hurt. <laughs> yes. Hi, Chris. How are you? Are you having a nice day? Oh, I forgot a couple. There's <clears throat> Diamine Brown, um, Golden Brown. There's the other Golden Brown I got. And there's Misty, um, Pen BBS 346 Misty Mountains. I don't know if that helped or hurt, but these definitely don't even belong in this neighborhood. Like, that's gray, that's gray, and that's purpley gray. So, I'm gonna put those in the gray department. <clears throat> the black gray department. Alrighty. Well, I wish I could ask you if this is on your radar for buying, but it's obviously gone one and done. That's how it is. I will treasure it while I have it. So. This is a sample that will go to inksplash.com later on today. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Please leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe. Ring the bell. Make sure it's set to all. So that way when I upload new content, hopefully you guys can come hang out with me. It's going really warm. Chris, it is very warm. Could you just tone it down a little? Great, thanks. <laughs> really warm over here. Just tone it down. <laughs> all right, that's all for today. So thank you all for watching. Have a great day. Oh, okay, I love you. Bye.